Hey, what's up, everyone? I just wanted to go over the historical and projected numbers really quickly. Okay, looking at the data set, historically, uh, you can see I started from 2012 because that's when the Model S was first produced. If you see the compounded annual growth rate from 2014 and onwards, you will see that Tesla averaged 59%. I did not do 2012 to 2013 because they were starting from such a low base and it would have skewed the averages. And so I wanted to see the CAGR from a normalized high volume delivery number first, which started in 2013. So the main thing to focus on is that Tesla achieved 59% CAGR historically. From 2020 and onwards, Tesla is targeting 50% every year. So if they did 59% historically, there's a good chance they will do 50% going forward. And also remember that 50% is just the average that I plugged in. In reality, it will jump around year to year just like it did from 2014 to 2020. Also recently, Ron Barron said that going forward would actually be easier for Tesla to go from 500,000 to 20 million cars. The prospects are brighter than they've ever been. I think it's much more likely they'll be able to go from 500,000 cars a year to 20 million. It's much easier to do that than to go from zero to 500,000 cars. Now, looking at my projections for specific car deliveries, this is just my best guess and could be way off, but for Model 2, I have production starting in 2022, which is based off of Troy Teslikes on Twitter, his prediction where he's guessing Giga Shanghai and Berlin will start production of Model 2 June 30th, 2022. Uh, and ultimately, I think Model 2 will be the best-selling car because it will be the cheapest and the top 20 cars sold in 2019. We're all in the 20 to 30,000 range. For the Model Y, I have it doubling in 2021 and then growing at 88% next year, then 72, uh, then 65, uh, and then tapering off. I definitely think Model Y has the potential to be the best-selling car because crossovers are gaining a lot of market share, but I think they will make a Model 2 crossover, which will ultimately be the best-selling car because of the price point. For Model 3, I have it growing at 45% in 2021. I think obviously the Y and 3 could be more uh, this year but I just made it so it hits 50% average as a whole for the year. For the Cybertruck, Elon has said that he hopes to roll the first Cybertrucks off the line this year. So I have 100 for 2021, then I have 70K for 2022, then doubling production through 2025, and then tapering off. For the model van, this is just my best guess. Um, but I think they'll start producing a commercial van for deliveries, similar to Amazon's Rivian truck for um, deliveries starting in 2025. Also, Troy Teslike has a cyber van being unveiled in 2024. So hopefully production by 2025 would be in line with my guess. For the semi, the pilot line in Nevada will hopefully produce its first batch by the end of this year. I'm not really sure what Tesla's total target for semi is, so this is just a complete guess, but I have it topping out at 100,500 per year. Let me, uh, let me know if you guys think that's uh, low or high. For Model S and X, I put the same deliveries as last year. Uh, just because last year was a low and there's a delay with the refresh this year for its first deliveries, but the demand will be high this year. So I just have it matching last year with only three quarters of deliveries this year. Uh, I also have it as the same trajectory as the previous 
SNX launch. Uh, you can see that it peaked at 55,000 and then got stale and then tapered off. So I have that same uh, trajectory for the SNX here. For the Roadster, I know everyone can't wait for this cherry on top. I just guessed that it would be in 2024, uh, but hopefully it will be sooner. I saw that Lamborghini sold 8,025 units in 2019, so I have it topping out at 10,000, but demand will be huge for the Roadster, so I think it could go up to 20,000. All right, let me know what you guys think uh, of the order. Let me guys know what you guys think will be the best selling to the, to the lowest selling. Um, uh, and I'd love to uh, know your reasoning. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and check out my other videos.